Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I am going to show you a comparison between Apple Notes and Samsung Notes. So first I will open the Apple Notes over here and on this side I will open the Samsung Notes. I open a new page and here I also open a new note. Uh, so guys the first thing that I want to show you is Apple Notes give you uh, the possibility of creating a table. So if you go over here you see this keyboard over here you see uh, there is a table icon over here just select it and you can see over here it will create table for you and if you select these three dots over here on top okay it gives you the option to add more columns okay so you can see over here it is showing the columns and if you want to add the rows you can just add row just select over here okay you see this add row option just select it and it will create more rows over here and then here if you want to type anything you can type here okay you can see over here on the table okay okay you can see over here so uh, you can create a table in Apple Notes. Uh, on the other side in Samsung Notes uh, there is no table option. You cannot create any table. Okay. Uh, the second thing uh, in Apple Notes uh, you are able to create a smart folder. I will show you how does it work. Uh, so if you go back to the folder option from your menu. Okay. On the downside you will see a small icon. If you just select it and then select any of these option I select on my iPad and then you see the first option over here it is showing new smart folder if you just select it okay it gives you the option to creating a smart folder here you can create any name uh, for example I create here uh, I give it a name of uh, uh, winter one okay you can see and then here I create a, a tag Okay, so basically, uh, for example, I create here a tag of bio and then I press done. Okay, so you see the tag is now visible over here on the downside. Okay, now I create any type of note from here. Okay, so I create a note, a new note, and here what I can do is I just try to uh, write anything over here. Okay, I just want to make any note. Okay, I just write here anything. Okay and now what I want to do I want to add that tag what I will do is I just go over here and then I just simply press uh, the hashtag okay once I press the hashtag on downside it is giving me the option of that hash bio so if I select it okay and once I finish my work on uh, this note it will automatically save in that specific smart folder okay so if I go back over here and then uh, you can see the uh, the smart folder is over here with the name of winter one if I select it okay my note is over here with the hashtag bio okay so this is how you can create a smart folder and you can create many notes with many hashtags and automatically it will go into your smart folder uh, but on the other side in Samsung notes uh, there is no smart folder option guys uh, you can only create tags okay but there is no such option of creating the smart tags so guys these are the thing that Apple notes have and Samsung notes don't have now I will move to the second part of this video in which I will show you what things included in the Samsung notes but they don't have in Apple notes so guys the first thing in Samsung notes is that it gives you the ability uh, to convert your notes into PDF file into word into PowerPoint file all you have to do is go over here these three dots just select it and then it is giving you the option option of save as file okay so for example if I select this save as file option so here you can see it is giving me many options uh, it convert my uh, note into a note file a PDF file a word file PowerPoint file image file and text file so I can convert my notes into many of these files but on the other side uh, in Apple notes there is no such option you can only convert into uh, your note file or PDF file the second thing uh, in Samsung note it provide special PDF 
template option so again if i go over here if i select these three dots okay and then if i select this page template option the very first option over here on top okay if i select it and then if you see over here pdfs okay so if i select it it is giving me different pdfs option these are the pdf template that is really uh, useful for uh, students for professionals so these are really important so for example uh, if i select uh, this one okay so you can see over here this is a very specific pdf file on the other side the apple notes uh, don't give me the options of different pdf templates that i can use in apple notes uh, the third thing that samsung notes have it is giving you different page background options so again if you select these three dots and you go over here in the uh, page settings option you see it is giving me the option of different background colors okay so you can see i can select different colors okay so you can see over here okay so you can see this is the black okay and then you have this color okay so different um, background color option if you go over here there are more colors okay so you can see and then if you like any color you can write here okay so you can see you can make um, uh, your notes on different page colors but on the other side uh, in the apple notes there is uh, no such option uh, there is only white or dark background option the next thing that samsung notes have and apple notes don't have is the possibility for the attachment of voice recordings okay so you can do the attachment of voice recordings all you have to do you go over here this insert icon just select it okay and then you can see over here you have the option of voice recording and then you also have the option of audio file so you can attach any audio file or you can start the voice recording from here you can record your lectures or if you have any conference so you can make a recording and at the same time you you can also make your notes but in the apple notes there is no such option of the attachment uh, for the voice uh, recording so guys these are some of the things that samsung notes have and apple notes don't have uh, now i'm going to talk about some of the uh, similarities uh, so there are a lot of similarities you find most of the tools in apple notes and the same tools are available in the samsung notes as well so for example if we talk about the split screen option so you have the split screen option uh, uh, in apple notes uh, for example you open two different apps you open your notes and you can also transfer the information like images or text from uh, your uh, browser into your notes for example i can easily transfer any image you can see over here into my notes from google same way i can uh, do this in uh, the samsung notes so i open for example this um, browser in this split screen and if you have any uh, thing you want to insert into your uh, notes you can easily do it for example i like this text okay and i want to insert into my uh, samsung notes i can easily do it for example like this one okay you can do it uh, the next thing that is similar in both of the apps is uh, the integration of uh, different apps with your notes for example on the uh, apple uh, ipad uh, i just open this uh, browser i open for example like this website and i want to integrate this website into my uh, apple notes i just uh, scroll from the side like this it will open a new note for me and here i can make my notes okay related to that uh, site i can get some information and i can also add a link of this website into my notes so here is the add link option if i select it okay it will add to uh, my notes so you can see over here now it is added into my notes and once i press done it will be saved so guys same way you can also uh, add a link or you can integrate um, uh, your website or any app with your samsung notes in for example i open the um, samsung internet browser i open this website and now i want to integrate this website into my samsung notes uh, just i open the notes over here so i just press and hold and then you see new note will open i can make my notes okay 
from this website the information is at the background and then here on the downside you can see there is an option of link and whole page option so if you select link it will add the link over here if you select the whole page option it will add the whole website page into your notes so for example i select the link option and the link will be created over here so guys you can also do the categorization uh, of uh, your notes into folders and subfolders you can see over here i create different folders and subfolders same way you can do in the in apple notes okay so if you select this folder option so you can see it there is a folder at subfolder options available here as well uh, the next thing is related to tags so you can add tags in both of the apps okay and uh, then we have other tools for example in here uh, I will show you we have the uh, the shape tool over here so you can use this shape tool so you can create different neat shapes okay so you can see over here and then for example if you want to create like this one it will create it like this so it will make basically different kind of neat shapes in your uh, Samsung notes same way you can also create shapes in your Apple notes as well all you have to do is just press and hold this uh, pencil uh, for example I create this shape and then I press and hold and it will make it neat for me and then for example I create like this shape and then it will make it into uh, this form so you can use this option uh, the other tool is handwriting to text tool both uh, tools are available so for example in Samsung notes uh, if I want to write something over here so I write over here so you can see it converted into the text form same way I can do in the Apple notes there is a tool over here I can write here as well and it will convert into the text over here so these are some of the similarities that i want to show you uh, so guys this is for today's video i hope you like the video i hope you enjoy the video so please do subscribe to my channel guys thank you very much